Praise the Lord, everybody. Once again, you are here live, tuned in to the Sea Talk broadcast show. I'm your boy, as you already know, Minister Jamal, and I'm here with my brother. Dwayne Hyder. Thank you very much. Hey, Amen. So we just want to um, ask you guys to please share this video and like it and invite somebody. The invite button will be at the bottom left of the screen. So please invite and share this video. We have some valuable information, amen, that God has laid forth throughout his word, amen. And we just want to just thank y'all for tuning in once again. So, um, amen, we're going to get into it. We won't be before y'all long, but the topic that we came with today is belief without action does not equals faith, man. And that is so deep because today as you look around you, it's a lot of people proclaiming to have this belief in God, but there is no reality or action based off their belief. Why is that? Why do you think that is? And we would love for y'all to comment as we both, you know, dive in and, and, and just share the information. Amen? Amen. And so we're going to be coming from Hebrews uh, chapter 11 to discuss Amen. what exactly is faith, right? So we know that James says that faith without works is dead. dead. That's right. Meaning that faith without work or belief without action does not equate to eternal life. It does not produce it. It's dead. There are many proclaimed to believe in God as an idea, wow. but yet they have not given themselves over to God. So that <laughs> belief without that action does not equate to faith. And it is by grace through faith that we are saved. So without wow. that faith, there is no grace, and thus there is no salvation. Wow. So you're saying that there should be a manifestation of what I believe in. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. So uh, Hebrews 11, we're going to start at, uh, chapter, at verse 6. Excuse me. Hebrews chapter 11, mm -hmm. we're going to start at verse 6. Amen. And it says, but without faith, mm -hmm. it is impossible to please him. Him being the word. It is literally impossible to please do God. anything That's that right. pleases God separate from faith. Wow. Belief plus action. You cannot do anything that pleases God without faith. Amen. Amen. It says, For he that cometh to God must believe that he is God, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. him. Right? That's right. Now, that'll take it, the conversation to another area, but we talk about that all the time. Seeking God. And who is God? The Word. Amen. He is a rewarder of them that diligently. Wow. That takes effort and mm -hmm. continuation. That's not just here, here, well, every now and again. That takes effort and continuation to them that diligently seek Him through the Word. But let's get into verse 7. Verse 7 says, By faith, Noah, being warned of God, of the things not seen as yet, meaning wow. that it was going to rain and flood the earth, That's right. which had never happened never. before. Can you imagine that? God wow. coming and telling you, it's going to rain, man. And you have no idea what that is because it never rained before. <laughs> In those days, uh, dew just came from the ground and watered everything. There had not rained before, but God told him that wow. it was going to happen. And look what it says. It says, he moved with fear and prepared an ark Mm. To the saving of his house. He heard what God said, the word, and then he moved based right. on what God said. That right there is faith. If wow. he would have just if he would have just heard oh, what okay. God said and said, yeah. I'll believe you, but I'm not gonna do anything. Right. Nobody would have got saved. Right, exactly. It would not have produced life. That's why James said, not only be hearers of the word, but doers also. Right. Because if I just say I believe God, God requires actions from us. Right. Whether it's spiritual or, 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 or physically. Right. And if we don't believe God or if we say we believe and do, do not produce what, you know, what's what's required of us based off our belief, then we really don't have faith in God. Amen. Right. Amen. And to the world, 
God is foolishness. Mm -hmm. The word is foolishness. All of this sounds crazy to the world. And you got to think from Noah's perspective, him being a, re on a whole bunch of people who had never experienced rain before, for him to say water's going to fall out the sky and wow. we're all going to drown to death, that sounds crazy. Believing in God uh, in, in comparison to the world sounds crazy. Right. So people are going to think, just like they did with Noah, that you sound crazy and that what you're following after is crazy. But if we don't follow after it, there's no faith. Right. Wow. And, and it just goes to show, I didn't mean to cut you off, it just, it, it just, to really pick it back off what you're saying, you know, it's so, it's so simple, but yeah, deep, mm -hmm. right? Because, you know, just to say that if we really don't move, you know, and what, and based off what we believe in, like we said, there is no faith. Like if I know, it's, it's just, for example, we go through it uh, every day. People say that, all right, we don't know if we're going to live tomorrow. Right, but we go to sleep preparing to wake up. Right. So I went to if I knew that I wasn't gonna wake up, I'm not going to sleep. Right. right? Because I believe that I'm not gonna wake up. But I believe in my mind that I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. So my action based off my belief is to go to sleep and prepare for tomorrow. Right. And there are many people that I know who they say they believe in God. Right. But their daily life rejects God. Mm -hmm. It rejects wow. their belief in God. You know, we they're living in sin. They're not concerned with God at all. If you truly believe that God is real, why would you reject him? Wow. You know, uh, somebody, uh, I have I have a friend, I'll call him a friend, and he's an atheist, and he said he prefers logic over faith. Wow. And I told him, <laughs> to me, logic equals faith. Because if I believe and I understand and I know who God is, the logical thing to do would be to put my faith in God. That's right. It would be illogical to say that I believe that there is a God who created the earth and he's in control, but then just to totally reject him and put my faith in myself or right. man. That's illogical. Right. But going to Abraham, verse 8. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an, in an inheritance, Obeyed, mm. and he went out, not knowing whether he went. Even though he didn't understand what God was telling him to do or why he was telling him That's to right. do it, he heard the word of God, mm -hmm. and he obeyed it, and he went and did it. That's right. That was the thing that solidified his faith. Yes, 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 yes. Again, if he would have just yes, yes. heard the word of God <laughs> but never went, right. he would not have been saved. Uh, faith would not, righteousness would not have been imputed, imputed to him. him. Yes, sir. He would have still been considered a sinner, but he was not considered a sinner, and righteousness was imputed, imputed to, to him, him because he believed. Because God. he acted on what That's he right. heard from the Word of God. That's what it means to be saved by grace. Right. Because as believers, mm -hmm. we're not necessarily better than unbelievers. Right. But to them, sin is imputed. Mm -hmm. But because we moved based on what we heard. Mm -hmm. Instead of sin being imputed to us, righteousness is imputed to us. Right. And thus is the access to grace through our faith. And that's why we're saying. So my 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 belief equals obedience. As long as you move in that's what right. you believe in. Wow. You know, if you tell me, hey, they're giving away uh, $1,000 at the store yeah. across the street. Right. I can believe you. Right. But if I don't go across the street mm -hmm. to get the money, I don't get the money. Right. <laughs> so I can believe God is coming back to destroy the earth. But if I don't switch teams. Right. And Rahab. get on God's team. That's right. And we're about to get to Rahab too. Based on what I believe, guess what? I'm going to be condemned with the uh, rest of the world. Wow. Amen. Uh, through faith, also Sarah, her, verse 11, through faith, also Sarah herself received strength mm -hmm. to conceive and was delivered of a child when she passed of age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Wow. Therefore sprang there even of one and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky and multitude and the sand which is by the sea sure and numeral basically her and abraham came together based on their belief 
in what God said as far as them producing the child in their old age. And in doing so, mm. they produced that child, and this gave them access to faith as well. Amen. Wow. Have you come across any people like that? Who, oh, yeah, all who, the time, man, all the time. Even even those who, like, have a, I don't want to say strong belief, but, you know, some type of, you know, just just way out, you know, way of believing in God, you know, and, and the way they believe in God dictate on how they live their life based off their belief in God because we we believe, we live and believe the word of God. That's our basis of why we do things. Right. right, because he's laid out a blueprint for us to live, not just believe in him. Right, there was a time where Peter, right, was in the ship, and Jesus came into a ship and told him, you know, let down this net. And he didn't believe if he didn't believe that he was gonna catch fish because he told he told the word, he yeah. told Jesus, man, like we've been toiling all, all night long. long. But if he didn't believe that he was gonna catch fish, he would have never obeyed. Right. But he had faith to believe, so therefore he obeyed God, and then he got blessed. If we do not, you know, act off our belief, then we truly don't believe God. It's that simple. We really don't. If we don't do what God say do and expect the results of what he said will happen if we do what he say do, then we don't. Then we believe God. But other than that, our belief is inadequate. It's, it's, it's no avail. Right. And the, and the world is quick to condemn believers based on imperfection. Right. But none of these people, if you study their, their life, they weren't they perfect. Did, none of these people were perfect. They were messed up. They weren't perfect. <laughs> they were cursed just like everyone else. But they still had a love for God and they followed after what God told them. Even if there were times of swaying to the left or to the right or having a lack of faith in a particular right. instant. But they always got themselves up. And continue to follow after what the uh, word told them to do. And so that's critical. Amen. Amen. That's real. So let's go to Moses, uh, verse 24. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, when he was an adult, mm -hmm. refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He didn't want to be a child of the world anymore because wow. Egypt represents the world, right? So he didn't want to be a part of the world anymore. He didn't want to be one of Satan's children anymore. Amen. 25. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people mm -hmm. of God. Look, he was in the palace. Rich. Had everything he needed. Uh, 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 helping to run Egypt. But he chose. But he chose to wow. let go of that and suffer affliction <laughs> with the people of God. Do you not know that we're uh, doing, still doing that same thing? We're still doing that same thing, choosing to afflict our flesh by rejecting the desires of our flesh mm -hmm. and suffering with the people of God because we believe that God is truly coming back yes, to save his people. Yes, sir. And we want to be a part of that as opposed to being a part of this world. Yes, sir, man. That's real. Yep. That's so real. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures mm. of sin for a season. Wow. Is that simple? Yep. For some. Yeah. That is deep. And this is my favorite one, starting in verse 31. By faith, the harlot Rahab. Mm -hmm. Rahab was a prostitute that yes. lived in the city of Jericho. That's right. She perished not. She did not perish with them that believe not when she had received the spies with peace. Just like the city of Jericho, the world is falling down. Mm -hmm. It is not going to be here. It is only here but for a short moment, and it is going to be destroyed. And wow. everybody that does not believe is going to be destroyed with, with it. it. That's right. But Rahab heard just like the rest of the city. And check it out. They all heard. All of them. And they were all scared. You know what that means? Wow. They all believed. That's right. Because so, in order for me to believe, to be scared of how, I how mighty you happening. are, That's I have right. to believe how mighty you are. That's right. So they all believed. But only Rahab acted in faith mm -hmm. according to what she believed and switched from being uh, a member of Jericho and went to help the people of God. That's right. And for that, she was saved. 
Because she referenced their God as her God personal when she believed that when they was going to come take the city, they, she was going to be spared. So she told them, you know what, these and what God's over here, I don't serve them no more. I won't, your God is now my God. Wow. Amen. And it's just like that in the world today. Like we said, there are a lot of people that believe in God and that believe in heaven and hell. That's right. And are, some of them are even scared of hell. But just like the people in Jericho who believed but did not act on their belief, if we do not act on that belief of God and what he's doing, we are going to be condemned with the rest of the world mm -hmm. and we're not going to make it. Even if we go to church, we can go to church that's and right. quote the scriptures, but that's not right. actually believe them, that's right. and not actually believe in nothing that's happening. So the grace said the other day, we quote scriptures we don't believe in that's that right. we don't believe in. Wow! And that 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 blew my mind because it's something I thought about, but I had never heard it verbalized like that, and it and it blew my mind. I wow. can I can quote all things are good uh, to those yeah that all are things work together work for good for the good of those who. Mm -hmm. Or caught according to his purpose. But the minute something happens negative, I start complaining. That's right. Well, do I believe actually that that negative thing is working together wow. for the good <laughs> of the purpose that God called me toward? And if I do believe that, I shouldn't be complaining. Nope. So should be rejoicing. Yep, because something good is working in that in the midst of that. Amen. Wow. So we want this to close good. with Hebrews twelve and start in that chapter one. Yeah. All right, it says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. Everybody he just talked about in Hebrews chapter 11. 11. That's right. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Everything that wow. hinders us from acting according to what we believe in, lay it aside. Wow. He said sin and weight. He didn't just say sin, sin mm -hmm. and weight. And weight, Sometimes that's right. things that are not a sin can be a weight that weighs us down and hinder us from acting according to what we believe in, and that is the word of God. Wow. And then he goes on to say, let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Wow. Amen. That is deep. Amen. That is deep, man. So we just want to encourage everybody to continue in what they believe in. Amen. If you are one of those people who are watching this and yes. you know that you believe in God, but yet you still reject him on a daily basis, you have not given your life over to him, you are still caught up in the cares of this world. That's right. And you are concerned just about, you know, what's going on on a daily, a day to day basis. We want to encourage you to put that thought into your mind of acting on what you believe in, letting go of this world, like That's Rahab right. did. You heard so about going, what man. God is doing, and he's coming back to destroy you. Get rid of it. Wow. Let it go and pursue God, because the Bible says that the days of man are short and full, full of, of sorrow. sorrow. That's right. But eternal life has no pain. It has no curse. Mm -mm. It has no sadness. It mm -mm. has no hurt. Why would you want to hold on to shortness and full of sorrow when you can have eternal life with nothing negative in it? Amen. 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 So once again, we just want to thank y'all for tuning in. We appreciate y'all's support. And we just uh, ask once again, man, invite somebody to come in and check us out, man, because we, we really appreciate y'all's support. Uh, we appreciate y'all feedback, uh, and we just want to say thank y'all once again for tuning in to the Seed Talk show. Uh, thank you, and God bless you. Tune in again Thursday, okay, Amen. around the same time Thursday, and we will have some great information for y'all again. Amen. So, peace out. Close out with prayer, sir. Amen. Uh, we just want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for this time. Uh, 
a fellowship, Lord, and we just pray that your word, God, touches lives, Lord, and people are, are prepared to uh, receive the word with readiness of mind and go search the scriptures, Lord, and we just ask that you open the ears of your people, Father God, uh, let everything that needs to be changed be changed at your word, everything that needs to be destroyed be destroyed at your word, Father God, remove every stumbling block that is in front of your people, Father God, remove every weight, Father God, and just give us the strength, Father God, in that mindset to forget those things which are behind so that we can press towards the higher calling which is in you god in jesus name i ask these things amen amen we love y'all god bless peace out it's weird not being able to hear that music i know it's on but i can't hear it uh, don't. <laughs>